Hey guys, in today's episode of Logic Pro Quick Tips, I'm showing you how to free up some of your CPU by freezing a track. If you're running into CPU problems and your computer's starting to crash a little bit when you try to load plugins, try doing this and see if it helps. If you want to see your CPU meter, you can go up here. And if you click this little arrow right here and set it to custom, and you should be able to see your CPU and you can double click it if you want to see more details. But I mean, you're going to know if your computer is running too slow and isn't, and if it isn't able to keep up with all of your plugins. So what you do is go to a track, right click it, configure track header, and then make sure freeze is enabled. So this is the little snowflake icon. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all the tracks that I want to freeze. I'm going to enable them and then I'm going to hit space. And what it's going to do is going to play through almost like it's bouncing and it's going to freeze the tracks. If you really want to know what freezing exactly means, this is from the logic manual. So I'll let you pause it here if you're really interested in reading all the details on that. And I'll link to this down below as well. So essentially what freezing does is it just makes a, almost like an audio file of exactly what you have. So all the effects, all the plugins that you have, it converts that into an audio file so that it doesn't have to load all of the effects and all the plugins and therefore saves you some CPU. That's a very basic explanation of what freezing is. Freezing can take a little while depending on how many tracks you have. This one is going to take a while, so I'm going to speed it up. This is a, a track I'm producing for a client of mine and there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to fast forward it to when it's done. And then what happens after you've frozen it, after it's frozen, you can't edit anything else. So if you try to click one of the plugins, you're going to get an error message. If you try to like move the file or something like that, it's going to give you the error message that the track is frozen. So if you do want to do any editing, you have to unfreeze it. But that should free up some CPU for you. My computer's struggling with all of these plugins and doing a screen record. So hope that helped you guys out. I will be posting some other videos about Logic Pro Quick Tips to help with your CPU. Check out my playlist of other Logic Pro X tips. Also check out my series I did on back running backing tracks for your band live using Logic Pro. Hope this helped you guys out. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.